Today on the show, we're taking a look at a DC movie special, Batman, number one, 1989. This is the movie adaptation, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Gun TV, where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. All right, guys, welcome back to Comic Gun TV. As I said, we're taking a look at the Batman 89 movie comic book adaptation thingy. It's a DC movie special. DC used to do this all the time back in the 90s and, of course, obviously the 80s. With their movies, especially Batman, uh, they would take the movies and put it in comic book form. I don't think they do that anymore. And I'm not sure why. Uh, but this was my wife's. I had gotten, a long time ago, I had, I think it was Batman, the Batman Forever uh adaptation in comic book form but i never got the batman 89 one or batman returns or anything like that uh, but this was my wife's i kind of inherited it because she doesn't really pay much attention to comics anymore so i just kind of moved it over to my collection uh it, it's it, you know it it could be worse for wear it's not in great shape, but uh, Dennis O'Neill, Jerry Ordway, Steve Olaf. Got a nice image there of Michael Keaton as Batman, Jack Nicholson as Joker. Not bad. It's not an exact frame for frame interpretation of the movie, but you get the gist. Gist. I'm sorry, gist. Uh, like here, <clears throat> I prefer the scene from the movie. It looks a lot better. The where he <clears throat> opens the wings, you know. Um, and you know the the dialogue isn't exactly the same. I hear, don't kill me, man, don't kill me. You're trespassing, rat bath. Trespassing, bleh. Trespassing, you don't own the night. Tell your friends. Tell all your friends. I am the night. <laughs> so that's a lot different than the movie. It, it should go, you know, don't kill me, man, don't kill me. I'm not going to kill you. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to tell all your friends about me. Who are you? I'm Batman. <laughs> all right, so. It, they add a lot more. They take a few liberties with the story so as not to be an exact copy of the movie. <clears throat> but they did get try to uh, make the uh, characters look just like their on-screen counterparts. Uh, you know, it's not bad. <clears throat> it really isn't. I haven't actually read it. Um, it's just kind of been sitting in my collection. I've skimmed through it, looked at it a little bit, but I haven't actually read it. Uh, now that I'm looking deeper into it, I may actually have to do that at some point. Because this is looking... This looks really nice, actually. Um, they really captured that scene there where Joker falls very nicely. And it shows Batman's fallen to the ground over here. Turn him over. Now we'll see who this guy is. 
Alexander Knox. Can I still make a, the late edition? And it looks like Bruce has taken off the uh, cape and cowl and kind of starts walking away. Which definitely was not in the movie. Uh, maybe it was a deleted scene or something. I'm not sure. But. <clears throat> I really wish they could have. They would have ended it with. Uh, the scene. Where Batman's standing at the top. Uh, a building. On one of the gargoyles. And he looks up at the bat signal. But you know there's that. Batman trade paperbacks are beautifully illustrated and printed on high quality paper. Continue the excitement of the movie by ordering one of these books today. Batman movie adaptation. Written by Denny O'Neill and illustrated by Jerry Ordway. The collector's edition not available on newsstands. Same story and artwork as the newsstand version but printed on high quality coated paper with advanced color processing. This bookshelf version of the Batman movie adaptation is a must-have for Batman fans. 64 pages, only $4.95. <clears throat> you also have The Dark Knight, written and illustrated by Frank Miller. Uh, Batman Year One, written by Frank Miller. And illustrated by David Mazzer Mazzicelli. Uh, the, and the greatest Batman stories ever told. So, there you have the 89 Batman logo, logo. And there's the binding there. Not much to it. Very nice comic. I'm definitely going to have to read it sometime to see all the differences between it and the movie. Uh, but there you have it, guys. The Batman 89 movie adaptation comic book. Yeah, I, I, I would definitely recommend seeing if you can get it for a decent price on eBay. Uh, obviously, you're not going to be able to find this in many stores anymore. Uh, some comic book stores may have it in back stock, possibly, but I doubt it. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV. Take care, my friends.